Captain Tsubasa began life as a manga series created by Yoichi Takahashi back in 1981 and was inspired in its creation by the 1978 World Cup. Anime series, novels and video games all followed in the subsequent years and this latest entry in the series, Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions, has just arrived on the Nintendo Switch. Despite knowing very little about the show but being a huge football fan, I've been anticipating this one for a while. Is it a Perlo-esque peach of a strike into the top corner or a Phil Jones own goal? No offence Phil. I'm Glenn Bolger, thank you to Bandai Namco for the review code and now let's find out. Being based on a manga and a subsequent anime, it can always be a bit daunting to play such games if you know little of the show. To its credit, the game does try to explain some of the backstory of the show, or at least just enough so that the events that play out within the game make sense, and this is something that many other video games based on anime series do not do. Relationships between characters are also given some explanation, so again, even if not familiar with the show, you start to get a taste for the friendships and rivalries that exist in this world. It's not necessarily always done in a particularly subtle way, with rather large chunks of exposition shoehorned clumsily into characters' conversations, but at the end of the day it meant that a non-fan such as myself had some sort of idea as to what was going on and therefore enjoyed their experience more than would have been the case otherwise. It definitely made this one of the more accessible anime-based video games to play and I appreciated that, fair play. Gameplay wise then there are a few different options but we will begin with the journey mode. This actually features two different chapters. The first one called Tsubasa, documenting Tsubasa and his team's rise through the regional, national and then international tournaments, showing the rivalries he makes with opponents and showing the adversity the team face along the way. This is done by segmenting the game into a lot of text heavy story sections and cutscenes where Tsubasa and his teammates converse about the challenges ahead and the overarching story is drip fed in alongside the actual football matches that you participate in as you would expect. After a story section then you will participate in a football match and you must win this to progress the story. Losing will see you having to replay that match until you are victorious. It may have been nice if the story went in a different direction after a defeat rather than just ending and would have given a much higher sense of purpose to the cutscenes and dialogue between each match, although I do appreciate this may have made it difficult to tell a coherent story. The second episode is titled New Hero. This tells an original story where you play as a new player and can choose one of three high school routes to pursue. You will earn XP as you win matches or through interactions with other characters and you can shape the stats of your character through this. This chapter is aimed at more experienced players but it's nice to see the inclusion of a mode where you are building a character as you go along and once you have completed this mode you can use your custom character in versus and online matches and we'll speak about those a bit later. Into the matches themselves then and the games are 11 aside. A short simple pass is executed with a B button, a longer pass by pressing A and a through ball can be achieved with the X button. Sprinting is done by holding down R and you can also sprint into an opponent when not in possession to barge them off the ball. You can however press ZR to perform a dribble move allowing you to potentially evade an oncoming challenge from an opponent. Pressing L allows you to change the player you are controlling and when playing the new hero mode clicking in the right stick will see you instantly take control of your custom character, vital for getting them involved and earning stat boosts. Holding down Y whilst shooting will charge your shot and if available to the character you are in control of at that time, filling it will allow you to perform a special shot. These do not guarantee a goal but give you a much higher chance of scoring and what they do also do is weaken the goalkeeper's spirit making it potentially easier to score next time. You can also power up your whole team when you have filled the bar at the bottom of the screen giving everyone a stat boost for a short while. You do this by pressing ZL. Due to the size of the pitch and the use of a regulation 11 players per team, the ball spends a lot of time in midfield and therefore doesn't quite have the end-to-end -end nature of an arcadey football game such as Super Mario Strikers, even though the special moves you can perform and the lack of fouls certainly gives it that feeling. However, due to these over-the-top moves and the more simplistic mechanics, nor does it really have the nuance in its range of passing, the fluidity in its movement or the tactical feel to stand with the big boys of the genre in FIFA or Pro Evolution. In five days of playing, I've only managed to score one goal with a normal shot. I've hit the bar a few times, and I'm sure it is possible to do it on a more regular basis, but dancing around the opposition and taking a super shot when charged seems like the easier way to go. This doesn't make it a bad game, and there are aspects I like about its approach to gameplay, but it just feels as if it's caught between two stools at times, and the gameplay is affected by this, at least in my opinion. 
Then there are the cutscenes that will play during a match, interrupting the action. Now obviously this is a football game based on an anime so I expected there to be such things in the game, but their implementation is just a bit odd at times. Stopping the game when you are in possession to show a cutscene of the opposition having a shot at goal and subsequently winning a corner for example. Again, if you're in it for the story, this will add to the drama and immersion. If you are just wanting to play a good game of football, it's a bit disruptive. I think if you go in wanting a game about football where the cutscenes add to the drama and the actual footballing is just part of a bigger package, then you will have a lot of fun here. If you want a football game first and foremost, then you may have to weigh up whether the other bits will hamper your enjoyment. Apart from the ones that interrupted the action, I did like the cutscenes, and there are various versions depending on the result at half or full time. A match could go to penalties for example, and the players will lament how they should have killed the game off. But whilst the actual footballing is decent, I missed some of the more intricate elements in the shooting and tackling that makes football such a great sport. Outside of the journey mode, there are a few more options. You have a versus mode which supports up to four players locally, a practice mode where you can hone your skills, and an online versus mode. I did have a few issues getting into an online match at times, but once in, it was a lot of fun. It uses the online league system that a few football titles use, with you starting in the bottom tier with your custom team and earning experience for each win you achieve. Filling your experience bar by achieving a set number of wins will see you promoted to the next division. Bar the initial getting on problem once or twice, I never had a problem in a match itself and things ran well. There is even a pleasingly extensive creation mode called Ultimate Edit, where you can create your own players or even a whole team, naming them and choosing kit colours, etc. There was a disappointing lack of cockerel emblems when creating your badge, but I got by. Loads of lions though, so if you're an Aston Villa fan you'll be laughing. In all seriousness though, this mode was great and a very pleasant surprise. You can even use points that you earn by winning matches to unlock more options for creating your club or new players, a very welcome inclusion. Finally, there is a collection mode where you can view any of the videos or music tracks you've unlocked through playing. I enjoyed the gameplay as a whole, with the different modes available, and the inclusion of those cutscenes adding to the drama, although I do feel that the core football experience lacks somewhat, and it gets 14 out of 20. Controls on the other hand work well for the most part, although they do feel slightly sticky at times, especially when trying to perform a special shot, but all in all, they get 16 out of 20. Visually, Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions is a lovely looking game. The character models are straight out of the anime as far as I can ascertain, and they look good in motion. Watching the two teams emerge from the tunnel and step into the beautiful vibrant stadiums is a joy to behold. Once into the action of the match itself, things still have a pleasing look to them, but there are a few oddities. First off, there is a strange jump with the camera at times when the ball transitions from one player to another. It can just break the immersion momentarily as you lose sight of the ball. I don't know how well it will come across in the footage and it's not a huge deal but you will notice it at times when playing. The other slight oddity is the run animation of the players which just looks a little awkward. It's very straight and doesn't quite look fluid enough and it actually reminds me of some of the older arcade football games such as Super Sidekicks. This could well be a quirk of the anime and completely intentional but it just looks a little off. Audio wise the game includes voice acting although it is fully in Japanese with subtitles. I didn't really mind this myself although it was quite difficult to keep track of what the commentators were saying in the match due to the fact you can't really read and play at the same time. Still, whatever it was, it was probably more interesting than listening to Alan Smith on FIFA talking about when he used to play for Arsenal. The music is also of a high octane nature and kept the adrenaline pumping through the games. This again lends itself towards a more arcadey feel rather than the slower more tactical feeling that natural crowd noises bring but in terms of the subject matter it worked well. Visuals make you feel as if you are in control of the anime and it's the vibrancy of all of it that impressed me the most and they score 17 out of 20. Audio suits the source material well and added to the experience and gets 16 out of 20. Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions costs £49.99, $59 or €59.99 or 79 Australian dollars 95 and it will take up a pretty hefty 13.3 gigabytes of your system storage. There is a physical version available and at the time of this video I have managed to find it for around £40 which is perhaps a bit more palatable. I do think this price is too high, as seems to be the case with most of the anime titles published by Bandai Namco, although I will give credit where it's due and say that features such as the ultimate edit mode do add more value than I initially expected. Online play is also another positive in the value camp, as long as the user base stays fairly strong. 
Its inclusion will no doubt keep some people playing for a while to come. Two story based modes is also welcome and on balance value scores 14 out of 20. To conclude, Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions is a good game about football. The two story modes will have fans eager to see what comes next and having no connection to the show, I enjoyed creating my own character in new hero mode and felt more of a part of things because of this. Online works well bar a couple of hiccups and the creation mode is a great inclusion too. My main issue really, other than the eShop price being very high, is that the gameplay is just not frenetic enough to feel like an arcadey football game, even with the super shots and whatnot, but it lacks the nuance of a curled shot into the bottom corner or a header from a perfectly delivered cross to be considered a full fat football experience either. This doesn't make it bad, it just means it's a better game about football than it is a fully fledged football game, if that makes sense. If this doesn't bother you, or as a fan of the show just taking on the role of Subasa and the gang is enough for you, then you'll have a great time. <laughs> Captain Subasa Rise of New Champions gets a switch up score of 77%. Thank you everybody as always for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave a like if you did. A quick thank you to our Patreons for your continued support and to each and every one of you of course for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe and until next time, happy gaming. ホームチーム前半を終えて一歩リードしかし試合の行方はまだまだ分かりません